Hi guys, today I would like to talk about photography gloves and what are photography gloves? Many times people don't know what they are and they ask me what are you talking about and things like that. So today I want to talk a little bit about Valoret photography gloves, which is the brand I solo use for the last four years or so. So they did not like, I've been collecting all these gloves throughout the years, that's why I have so many. Um, they're not sponsoring this video or anything, I just decided to do this video as a lot of you guys have asked me in social media what gloves do I recommend, why, which ones do I use and in which situations and things like that. So I decided to make a video um, of it, why not. Uh, I put from the gloves I use the least to the, to the gloves I use the most, kinda, and I'll explain why. So first of all I'm just gonna talk about uh, the small gloves that we have, which is like, these are normal merino wool gloves with touch that you can use on your cell phone, your camera, you know, touch screen the camera and things like that. I use this one every now and then when the temperatures are not um, very, very low. Uh, I'm not a glove person. I'm often hot, hot, so I don't really use gloves a lot. Uh, but more often than not, these days I stay for too long waiting for the sunrise or the sunset, you know, an hour or two. And at some point my hands get cold. So I decided to start wearing some, some gloves and I found out to Valoret to be uh, the best ones, the best suited for me. And I'm going to explain why. So I found out first uh, Valoret when they released these gloves, which are the mark of uh, one glove. Uh, this was my very first pair of gloves I had from them. And I really enjoy them. Uh, what does this make? You know, people ask, what does it make a photography glove? Is that I can actually do this with the gloves and I can still use my fingers. So you have here a magnet that, you know, just magnetize it like that and it gets it out of the way. It doesn't bother you, you can use your camera and then when you're cold, you just, you know, put it back up, back in and it's great. Uh, all of them ha also have a pocket here that I realize that you can fit either a hand warmer or an SD card. Uh, I usually don't use either or, but uh, you know, you know, you can use. So this was the Markov one, this, these gloves are no longer on sale uh, as they released the uh, Mark of 2, which are also here. And now, a month ago or so, they released the Mark of 3, which I haven't tried it yet. Uh, these ones are called Urbex uh, photography gloves, and they, these one are, gloves are more for cityscapes, let's say. They are more, you know, they are leather, as you can see. They, are, they look slightly nicer than the other ones, <laughs> to, be, to be fair and honest. I think they look a little bit better. I just wish they had them in black as well. They only have them in, in brown. And sometimes for the city, I wish I could have something more stealthy than this, that this sometimes doesn't go with some of the outfits I use. You know, a lot of the times I use uh, sports backpack uh, jackets and things like that, and they don't really go with these gloves. But I use them often on, on the cities if it's not very, very low temperatures. If there is too low temperatures, I don't find that the mark of one or this uh, would be ideal. I can tell you that Mark of 1 and Mark of 2 they are rated for the same amount of degrees. I don't know exactly what it, would that be, but I I say that for me personally, if it's low lower than 5 degrees or so, let's say 3 and lower than that, these gloves are no longer the best for me. I start being cold after after a while with them. And that's why uh, I don't I use them in some cities when I don't take these ones. I use them at the beginning, at, you know, if I'm shooting a sunset, I use them maybe at the beginning. Sometimes I take both. I take the Ipsut uh, gloves and the Markov, and then I change them uh, because you know I have both. And then sometimes you get I get too hot with this one, and then these ones are are a good uh, are a good match. Or sometimes I just use these ones while I'm waiting for uh, you know as the weather gets colder. So it really depends. Uh, if I do night shooting, I more often than not use the Ipsut. Ipsut are my the, my most used gloves. Uh, they are a bit thicker than, than these ones, but it has to be my favorite gloves that I use in Norway and I use in in Iceland in Iceland for winter. Uh, you know, they do the same thing. They are just much thicker, and the insulation for me it's better when it, the temperatures are below three. Let's say when it's minus one, minus two, minus five, up to minus ten, which I've used. I definitely prefer uh, these gloves, and I had. It's my most used gloves from all of them. It's this one as I am usually from like, from not using gloves at all to go for the, you know, the higher, stronger glove because I'm cold and I already let it pass to the time where I'm maybe too cold and I, you know, should have used something else before. So, so yeah, these ones are the hip suit and this is the ones I recommend for 
mild winters, let's say not super super winters, so I would recommend that. Uh, Valorant just announced this one, the hatchet, and they released another one, as I said, the, the Markov 3 and the two, two more others, or, or three. Uh, I didn't try the other ones, I hadn't, and I didn't really have the chance to try these ones yet. Uh, I've tried it at home, but the winter just started, so this glove seems to be slightly warmer than the hip suit. Uh, they don't have, you know, as you can see in the hip suit on the bottom, this is all anti-slippery. Uh, and this one is leather, so it will be also uh, anti-slippery, but you don't have this kind of pattern that some people might actually not like. They are not the, the prettiest pattern, but it's useful, so I don't, you know, I don't really care. Uh, these ones don't have it, they seem to be full leather on the bottom. Uh, they have this one, it is much longer than the other gloves, which I like because, you know, it's much easier to put them on. Just like that, it's much easier to put them on and you have the finger again. On both on both uh, both gloves and on both fingers. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is when you're flying drones, uh, it happened to me in the past using the Mark of One, and I believe it doesn't matter which gloves you would be using, you would always have this issue. Uh, I had the Mavic, the DJI Mavic Air One, and you know I turned it on. I was in the Dolomites. I was gonna try to shoot sunrise. It's 5:30 in the morning, and I wanted to fly the drone, and my drone was like, okay, you need to calibrate it, and you need to you know rotate the drone and do a few things, and it kept failing and I was like, I don't understand why, I don't know what's going on. Up to the point I got pissed off and I know I just took the gloves out and then I tried it once again and it worked. And then I realized the reason it doesn't, it didn't work is because of the magnets. So the gloves have magnets, the drone, you know, is trying to calibrate and by some reason the magnets were interfering with the drone. So if you have a drone and you have this issue, keep in mind to do it without the gloves on or put something like this on and then you have no problems. But, you know, it took me a while, it took me a good few minutes to, to try and see and, you know, switch off the software, turn it back on, switch off the drone, turn it back on and things like that. And then I realized it was the magnets of the gloves that was actually interfering with the calibration of the drone itself. Uh, with my new drone, I haven't tried it yet, but, you know, just something to keep in mind. Uh, I have here some gloves, which called the Gladiator, I believe. These gloves, uh, Valorant no longer sells. Uh, unfortunately, these gloves are more for photojournalism and this seems to be much more durable gloves. Uh, these gloves are from Kevlar and they really look more durable than the other gloves I have. I really like these gloves and, you know, I hopefully they will bring some others in the future. I wasn't expecting them to be so good and so soft when I, when, when I said they were Kevlar, I thought they would be a bit rougher. Uh, it, it wouldn't be so malleable to, to move around and so on, but no, in the end of the day, they are really, really nice. They look more like uh, motorbiker gloves uh, because of the materials, but uh, I really, really enjoy it. But these gloves, you can no longer find them on sale on their website, but maybe in the future they will, um, you know, they will release something new. And the last gloves that they have is the Scuddy Zipper Mitt. So these gloves are two gloves. It brings an inside glove, and the outside glove. So this inside glove, it's elastic, which is it's which is really nice, and it's warm, so you can use it. It's also touch, by the way, and you can use it just just like like that. Or this is usually for colder uh, locations. Let's say minus 15, minus 20, uh, you would use such glove uh, like that. So you don't have any any fingers, but if you need, you just you know zip it up, zip it all up, and then you have the glove here. You have a button. Here, as you can see, that if you want to have it always open, so it doesn't get in the way by some reason, you just clip it in, and then the glove stays like that. Uh, and you can also do that with this, we on the side. So these gloves, I don't use them uh, very much, only in very, very extreme uh, conditions. Uh, I've used it only a, a bunch of times, as I'm not that cold. Usually, you can also hang them on your hands as you have another glove on your hand and if you are doing something you can do that. This is the only glove that I have that have that has this, which is kinda kinda useful. Uh, and you know I had some clients saying that you know they bought the the, the mark off and they were cold in or in Norway and so on because you know for me I recommend the hip suit instead. Uh, but another thing that you can do that Valorat says you can do and I've done it in the past but I don't really like is to use those uh, this type of you know this linens uh, gloves. Uh, I don't like it because it doesn't let me move as freely as with my fingers, so I prefer to have a thicker glove with me uh, at all times rather than having um, the two pairs 
you know, to combine them like that, it's a bit harder to put them on and so on. So I prefer to have it like this. Uh, and yeah, if I would have to recommend one for the colder conditions and not super, super cold, then it would definitely be the hip suit or maybe the hatchet, which is a new one, which seems slightly warmer. Uh, I would have to still test it. Um, hopefully next month, in two months actually, I'll go to Norway and I'll get to try these gloves and I'll take both and see which ones I, I do like uh, the, the most. I don't have uh, the newer gloves that Valorant has, but if you would like to see another review only with the new gloves, including these ones, uh, you know, please let me know and I'll try to, to figure something out. If you have any questions about any of these gloves or any gloves that they have, please feel free to contact me and, and ask any questions that you have uh, down below and tell me if you use the gloves, which ones you like the most or, you know, if, if there is any other brands that you prefer, you know, um, tell me why and uh, I, might, I might have a look. But I have to say that for all these years I've been working with Valoret, I really, really enjoy their gloves and uh, that's why I decided to do this video to answer a lot of the questions I've been asked. Uh, throughout the years about what kind of gloves I use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, you know I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.